Hello guys and welcome to an equity investments countdown. In this countdown of 7, you will be able to at least be in the top 30% of all students. This is my real CFA score above 90% and the purpose of sharing is to encourage you to pass your exam and to serve you in this specific topic. 7. 7 types of financial intermediaries 1. Brokers 2. Dealers Dealers trade with clients 3. Securitizers 4. Commercial banks 5. Insurance companies 6. Arbitragers 7. Clearing houses They provide security between buyers and sellers 6. Common shares Common shares represent ownership interest in a company Investors do share in the operating performance and have voting rights. They have a claim on the company's net assets in case of liquidation. Callable common shares, callable means buy. So the company have the right to buy back the shares from investors. Putable common shares give the investors the right to sell back the shares to companies. 6. Preference shares. Rank above common shares in terms of dividends. Have a lower risk, both investors lose their operating and voting rights. They can be cumulative, which means unpaid dividends accrue for other periods. They can be non-cumulative. Unpaid dividends are permanently unpaid. They can be participating, which means more dividends received if the company's profit exceeds a specific number. Remember, participating does not mean participating in the operating or voting rights. No, it's only about dividends here. They can be convertible. This enables shareholders to convert their preference shares into common shares. Let's continue the countdown. 5. Industry Life Cycle Embryonic, slow growth, high prices, significant investments, and high risk. Growth High growth, falling prices, low competition, and improving profitability. 3. Shakeout Slowing growth, cost cutting, intense competition, and declining profitability. Mature Little or no growth, high barriers to entry and industry consolidation. And the last one is decline. Here we have negative growth, high competition, excess capacity. 5. A depository receipt. A DR is in a foreign company but in the domestic currency. In a new DR, unsponsored depository receipt, the bank has the ownership rights. In an SDR, if it is sponsored, the investors has ownership rights. An American depository receipt is a US dollar denominated security. A GDR is issued outside of the company's home country and also outside USA. Now let's put into your subconscious BS, BSR. Porter's five determinants of intensity of competition. Barriers of entry. Power of suppliers, S. Power of buyers, B. The threat of substitutes, S. The rivalry among competitors. 4. Market types. Money market, maturing in one year or less, like commercial papers. Capital markets, maturing in more than one year. Primary markets, issuers selling to investors, from issuers to investors. Secondary market, from investors to investors. Let's continue the countdown. 3. Trading through orders. Execution instruction, instructing the broker to obtain the best price available. Validity instructor, instructions like a stop order executed when a stop price is reached. Clearing instruction, arrange the final settlement. The three main functions of the financial system are the purpose achievement of the financial system users, discovery of the rates of return, the best allocation of capital in terms of use. Two. Commercial and governmental classification systems. Commercial classification systems are generally more updated. They generally disclose information to the public, may not include some types of companies like public companies and distinguish between various types of companies. Unlike governmental classification systems that are generally less updated, generally does not disclose information about a specific company to the public, and include most type of companies. Here we are talking about public companies, large and small businesses, profits and not-for-profit organization, public and private companies. 1. Margin call. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Why did we say 1? 
margin call because I want you to memorize one. Margin call price equals initial price times one minus initial margin, IM, divided by one minus maintenance margin, MM. Q, the current stock price is $100. You invested $1,000 in the stock, of which $700 is from your capital. This means initial margin is 700 divided by 1,000, 70%. Now, if the maintenance margin is 33%, this is the maintenance margin. At what price will a margin call first occur? Margin call price is the price, $100, times 1 minus initial margin, which is 70%, divided by 1 minus maintenance margin, 33%, and this is your answer, $44.77. Thank you. You can subscribe for more and we are here to serve you. God bless your day.